Hoy con el salto nos encontramos en Bruselas, en la primera edición de la Semana de la Sociedad Civil. Un evento que congrega diferentes voces de la sociedad entre movimientos sociales, sindicatos, jóvenes, ONGs, etc. Para discutir sobre los retos de hacer una democracia más participativa y una política europea en definitiva más cercana. De cara a la próxima cita electoral del 6 al 9 de junio de este año. Así que vamos allá. So first of all, youth is kind of the society that is going to be affected by this. If you look at charts uh, so showing the level of uh, the, the, the temperature level of the Earth uh, in the upcoming years, it's going to be way higher than it is right now. Also, they're the ones with the most innovative and critical ideas that can push um, forward and, and change the system. But we also need to make sure that we establish procedures and forums to include uh, youth perception and youth voices. To, to sum up, I, I mean, you should really empower citizens, I think. You should really make it a public thing. And it should really have some bite at the end. It should really lead to something. And is, if it doesn't, why would Extinction Rebellion be interesting? If climate policy becomes what the Green Deal has become in the EU, that is a watered down, really not very uh, innovative or radical way of dealing with climate, yeah, well, then. It's a, it's a real shame, of course. And you have the power to decide where the money will go, either to the renovation or the improvement of the store, uh, to have another employee. You know how it works. You know where the products come from. You know uh, the, the person at the cashier. You know the person uh, who is putting the product on the shelves. It's also a social connection that you create with the people who are a member of the program. Yeah, hasta aquí el día de hoy.